on your screens you can see a beautiful picture do you know which place is it this is the valley of flowers in uttaranchal so this valley is part of the nanda devi biosphere reserve which is one of unesco's world network of biosphere reserves you find an immense diversity of flora here including flowers like the himalayan maple the blue himalayan poppy brahmakamal marigold daisies primulus orchids and yellow jacomont and wallish variety of cobra lilies so the valley of flower falls in gobind ghat in uttarakhand before we begin further let me clarify to you what is a valley so the valley is the low land between two mountains or hills which often have a river flowing through it as we just discussed the valley of flowers in uttarakhand in the hills of uttaranchal there is a place where there are flowers everywhere this place is called the valley of flowers in some places one sees red flowers blooming on bushes while in others one finds white flowers peeping out between the stones there are wide areas carpeted with the brightest yellow flowers and suddenly elsewhere blue flowers shining like tiny stars between the grass all this seems like a beautiful dream doesn't it yes because like a dream these flowers bloom only for a few weeks in the year now close your eyes and imagine that you have reached such a place how does it feel which song do you feel like singing i know when you closed your eyes you must have felt very very peaceful that's what nature does to you i can't think of a song right now i believe that's what you might be thinking so you can share that song in your class but yes it does remind me of a poem which i would like to share with you so it goes like is there anything as tranquil as a brightly glowing jonquil that stands in sweet serenity a part of nature's tapestry a flower that never questions why the rivers flow and birds will fly content to fill part of the plan to beautify the world of man if we would only realize we too can help to glorify to find within each passing day a happiness along the way a loving hug or cheerful smile can help to make a life worthwhile if all would lend a helping hand we soon would have a world so grand i would also like to share some of the most beautiful places in india which are like the valley of flower in uttaranchal one such place is yamthang valley in sikkim you know imagine a valley surrounded by the himalayan mountains and filled with lots of flowers yaks and hot springs no it is not just an imaginary wonderland this place exists for real isn't that amazing the yamthang valley in sikkim also consists of shingba sanctuary and hence you will find more than 24 varieties of this flower here along with abundant rhododendrons you'll even spot prime roses cobra lilies 
cinquefoils, iris, poppies, loosewoods and other pretty blooms. This place is closed from December to March due to heavy snowfall, but it makes for the perfect destination in summers. This place is basically in the North Sikkim. Now from Sikkim, let's head to the crown of the country, the tulip garden in Kashmir. Frolic around among lush tulip fields at the largest tulip garden in Asia with various flower species like hyacinths, narcissus, daffodils, muscaria and iris paired with show stealer variety of tulips. This makes for one location in Kashmir. It overlooks the Dal Lake and is surrounded by the Nishat Bagh and Cheshmashahi Mughal Gardens. A visit to this place is sure to make your day bright and colorful. This place falls in Srinagar in Kashmir. Now there is a very well known valley in Nagaland. It's called Duko Valley. This less discovered gem located near the Nagaland Manipur border is far away from commercialization and is a fantastic spot to revel in the beauty of nature. Be on the lookout for the rare Dusko lilies that are found only here while soaking in the beauty of other flowers varieties like Econitums, Euphobis, Rhododendrons and more. There are two ways to get into this valley, a track from Vishwema village or one from Zakama village and we can't decide which of these is more beautiful. So this place falls between Nagaland and Manipur. Now there is a place in Maharashtra. It is beautiful. This is Kas Plateau. Kas Plateau is one of the places in Maharashtra that resembles destinations abroad. It gets its real name from Kasa flower, which is the most common species found here. Along with that, this UNESCO World Heritage Site is home to more than 850 species of flowers, including orchids, Indian arrowroot, Dipkadi flower, tropical sundew, vitra, truthbush, orchid and more. Various flowers bloom and close throughout the day on this plateau, so you might witness different scenarios in the morning and evening. Along with visiting the plateau, you could also drive to the Kas Lake or Vajrai and those Ghar waterfalls. So this place is near the Satara district of Maharashtra. Now we talk about Munnar Valley. Munnar Valley in Kerala is most known for the rare flower of Nila Kurinji that blooms once every 12 years. The valley gets covered in a lovely lavender lush in the bloom season. The great news is that upcoming blossom season is this year, starting this month. So, unless you are in for another 12 years long wait, you should get to planning a trip to this beautiful whale. This particular place is in Iduki district of Kerala. So, if walking around flowery meadows and enjoying the bounty of nature sums up your idea of a happy day, I have given you places to visit near you. You can go and have a wonderful day. The beauty of nature is such that it becomes part and parcel of our day-to-day -day life. Like the design which is given on your screens. This is the design of Madhubani. Now Madhubani, it is a very old form of folk art. Do you know why it is called Madhubani? So there is a district in Bihar called Madhubani. Here during festivals and happy occasions, the walls of the houses and their courtyards are painted with such pictures. These paintings 
are made out of waste of the powdered rice in which color has been mixed. The colors used in Madhubani painting are very special too. To make them indigo which is known neel or turmeric which is known as haldi, colors from flowers and trees etc are used. The paintings show human beings, animals, trees, flowers, birds etc. So let us try to analyze what we have learnt out of this segment. Okay, Tell me which kind of painting is most famous in Bihar? Yes, it is Madhubani which is the most famous kind of painting in Bihar. Alright, my next question to you is in Madhubani painting what kind of pictures are painted? Are these trees and flowers or forts and buildings? Yes, you are right. Madhubani paintings are all about trees and flowers. It is all about nature. Okay, what kind of plants do not have flowers on it? Pine or aloe vera? Yes, it is the pine trees or plants which are pine which does not have flowers to it. A flower comes in the form of a bud to a plant and then it blooms into a flower. Do you know that there are certain flowers which we eat? Yes, you are right, you heard me right because there are certain flowers which are used as a vegetable. So, there are two girls who are living in Uttar Pradesh. Their names are Firoza and Nilima. Do you know they love the vegetable made out of the flowers of Kachnar? And Yamini in Kerala asks her mother to cook from the flowers of banana. In Maharashtra, they often prepare fritters or pakoras from the flower sehjan. Do you know there are many medicines also which are made by using the flowers? Some of the major flowers which are used to manufacture medicines are rose and hibiscus. The gulab jal extracted out of the flower rose is often used in many medicines, in sweets as well as many beverages. Certain flowers are used to make colors as well. So, guldavri, zinnia are such flowers which are used to make natural colors. Harshingar and China Rose also falls in the same category out of which the colors can be made. Some of the flowers are also used to make perfumes. Perfumes are made from those flowers whose fragrance is very strong. Rose and Jasmine are the most renowned names when it comes to the extraction of perfume from the flowers. Do you know that these flowers are the best medicines as well? If you add up some of the gulab gel along with glycerin and a few drops of lemon and apply that on your skin, it will help you to have a natural moisturizer. It will 
make your skin soft and healthy in winters it is one of the most renowned grandma's secret which i am going to tell you today the kanauj district of uttar pradesh is well known for the production of perfume so trucks filled with flowers are brought to this place then to extract the perfume gulab jal and kevra are prepared you know there are thousands of people who are working in these perfume making factories now tell me what are the various uses of flowers which comes to your mind as per me flowers are an integral part of our society you know in our indian marriages from the groom's sehra to the jamala then for the religious functions and of course for the decoration purpose it is considered very auspicious so on your screens you can see certain statements and then two blanks ahead of it now let's fill these blanks so which are the flowers which grow on trees it is gulmohar and kadam the flowers which grow on bushes lavender and hibiscus flowers which grow on creepers champa and coral vine the flowers which grow on water water lily and lotus flowers which bloom only at night moon flower and queen of night flowers which bloom in the day and close at night sunflower and poppy very good okay on your screens you will now see certain questions or statements along with that you have four options so you have to tell me the correct option so without wasting any time let's get going in which state valley of flower is situated uttarakhand bihar cochin or mumbai yes it is uttarakhand very good to which state madhubani painting belongs to bihar cochin mumbai or uttarakhand yes we did that earlier as well madhubani painting belongs to bihar so what is our national flower sunflower marigold lotus or zinnia our national flower is lotus munnar valley falls in which state of india bihar uttar pradesh uttarakhand or kerala yes munnar valley falls in kerala all right which flower grows in kerala only once in 12 years lotus neela kurinji marigold or sunflower yes it is neela kurinji which grows once in 12 years with this we come to the end of this session i hope you had a great time today because i had a great time we'll be back with many more videos till then stay safe stay healthy and keep learning namaskar